Hey guys, check this out. That's my Samsung phone and it's not running Android anymore. I just installed full native Windows 11, the actual desktop operating system, natively on a Samsung phone. No emulator, no remote desktop, and no compromises. Before you assume it's fake, look closely. This is the real Windows desktop with proper installation setup and all. Now let's open about this PC and take a look at the system details. It's actually pretty cool seeing all of this here. You can see the device name, and the processor is listed as the Snapdragon 778G, the same chip that powers the Samsung Galaxy A52S. And yes, it's running Windows 11 Pro, just like a full desktop computer. This proves that Windows 11 ARM isn't some watered-down version. It's the real deal, ready for everyday tasks or even coding. All right, now let's take a look at what's happening under the hood. I opened up Task Manager, and honestly, the numbers are pretty impressive. The CPU usage is sitting at just around 3%, which means the system isn't under any heavy load at all. Memory usage is about 59%, roughly 2.9 gigabytes out of the 4.9 gigabytes available. For a phone running full Windows 11, that's actually very solid performance. It handles everyday tasks without any trouble, with enough headroom for more apps and even some coding. Next, I tried doing something useful, not just opening the start menu. I installed Visual Studio Code, because if VS Code runs, this can actually be a pocket coding machine. Since this is Windows on ARM, you want ARM apps for the best experience. That's the rule with this setup. VS Code opened, I created a quick HTML file, ran it, and it behaved like a normal Windows PC. Let's try something cool. I wanted to see if Python works, so I downloaded the ARM version from the official site. Just like on any Windows PC, double-click the setup, follow the steps, and you are done. To test it, I opened the Python compiler, typed 2 plus 3, and yes, it worked. So Python works perfectly on this Windows 11 running on my Samsung A52S. And yes, just like regular Windows, this one also comes with those random updates nobody asked for. But don't worry, just like on a normal PC, you can go into settings and pause the updates here too. Alright, here's what you can expect after installing Windows 11. The moment Windows boots, it feels like a tiny PC in your hand. I tested Wi-Fi because if that doesn't work, the whole thing is basically a demo. Then I tested Bluetooth, paired a keyboard and mouse, and suddenly my phone turned into a real desktop setup. This really shows that Windows 11 on ARM isn't just functional. It's smooth, efficient, and easy to use. And if you're curious about how games might run on this setup, let me know in the comments below. And if you're wondering how this is even possible, it's thanks to WOA Helper, an experimental open source project on GitHub that brings Windows 11 to the Samsung Galaxy A52S. Right now, it's limited to this device, but as the community grows, we can expect support for more phones in the future. But here's a quick look at what's not working yet. So yeah, this is Windows 11 running natively on a Samsung phone. No emulation, no shortcuts, just a full desktop OS on mobile hardware. If you're interested in trying this yourself, I've made a separate, detailed installation video. You can watch that by clicking right here. If this video helped you or even blew your mind a little, consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.